The countdown to the Kentucky Derby is on. And now that Jason has helped us decide which horse to bet on, remember to always bet against him. <laughs> now we're helping you with your Derby Day outfit, namely the hats. Renowned hat designer Louisa Voisin, who trained under the guidance of Queen Elizabeth's personal hat designer, joins us now along with her lovely model Elizabeth. Thank you both so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having us, Elisa. We're so excited that it's the 150th Derby and yeah. such a big celebration and the hats get better every year. Oh, yes, okay, <laughs> 150 years of tradition. That's yes. what we're talking about behind these hats. This is, this is so beyond an accessory. Talk to us about the history of the Derby Day hats. Well, one of my, there's a lot of history, but one of my favorite stories that most, a lot of the milliners know, but it's not in the general information you'd find on the internet, was when um, Colonel Merriweather started the Derby, and it was all about drinking bourbon and gambling mm -hmm. with his friends. And he and his wife, Mary, spent a lot of time, in, especially in England, going to all the races, and they loved how everyone dressed up. Oh. So they were trying to figure out to, how to make it a little, little more feminine okay. outside of Derby and uh, uh, bourbon and gambling. Sure. <laughs> so um, Mary got all dressed up with some of her friends, no social media, so the yeah. only way they could get the word out was they got in a big horse-drawn carriage and they would go through town and the other women would see them and that's how it actually started wow. with Mary in a wagon. <laughs> that is incredible. Okay, now talk to us about the wide range of hats because they may signify other things or is it really just about pairing it with your outfit? Well, there's so many different styles. Of course, there's the, the hat, the elegant hat, the mm -hmm. chapeau, we call them. Um, and then there's the hatinator, which this is a hatinator here because it's the size of a hat, but it's on a headband. Oh, okay. So it's a hatinator. So is that what I'm wearing because mine's no. on a headband? Oh, my dear, you look so amazing. You are wearing a fascinator. <laughs> oh, a fascinator. <laughs> That's why I feel so fantastic. There though. you go. It's perfect on you. Uh, well, thank you. I, it makes me feel very regal, I have to say. Now, your beautiful model, Elizabeth, is yes. wearing what? Elizabeth is wearing definitely what you would call a chapeau, okay. and it is one of my creations. It's a butterfly, obviously, um, <laughs> and it's so popular with Kentucky Derby. I this one it. in particular won the uh, hat design contest for the Easter Parade in the New Orleans Historic Easter Parade wow. with all the ladies. Wow, well, so congratulations. This was, yeah, this was, a, this was fun, and Elizabeth actually went and wore it, and probably one of the reasons she it, the hat won, it looks great on her. <laughs> it is beautiful. I yeah. love the butterfly. Of course, you know, this is always the first weekend of spring, so yes. a lot of like spring comes into your designs, but these are all of these hats you designed. I did. And what's I what I find very interesting is People can't just shop for your hats online because it's so much more of a personal experience with you. It is. I do not sell online um, as an artist. In This is the medium that I use to mm -hmm. express myself. Um, it really, I really have to meet my client and I really have to see it on them because yeah. it's all about framing the face. Mm -hmm. So it just frames you beautifully. And I have women that maybe have never worn a hat and they look in the mirror after I put something on them, if it's the right piece. Mm. And they're like, oh my gosh, I look so good. <laughs> right? Okay, now very quickly, because we're out of time, but if somebody, obviously it's too late to come get a personalized hat from you before Derby Day on Saturday, but if somebody's looking online or in stores now, do you have a, a quick piece of advice for them to find the right hat? Most definitely, it has to be one with you. Okay. It has, you should never feel that you're wearing something on your head. Mm. And that is so important because it has to flow. Otherwise, there's the hat, there's the lady, and it's just not working and okay. they're uncomfortable. So, like when this was put on you, you just automatically right away felt like you were wearing nothing but felt beautiful. One with the hat. <laughs> no, truly, truly. Well, Louisa, thank you so much for joining oh, us. Thank this you for having us. So much fun. All right, and here's the information. If you would like to visit Louisa Voisin, just go to louisavoisin on your screen right now.org.